Hey friends, hey friends, hey, let's go. Uh, did Dinobot let people know we were live today? I know it went the entire stream yesterday without letting people know we were live. So I think I'm just going to manually let everyone know. Hey friends, we are live with the first ever <gasps> Gong Stravaganza Gong Show. Semi-finals, kinda. <laughs> Stream! Huzzah! Here, let me do a little party. W oh, no, I have to do HTTP on Discord. Okay. Okay, I let everyone know there. No betting. No, <laughs> no betting. Um, oh, yeah, it took a big sleep yesterday for sure. Um, but that's okay. Sometimes you need a nap day and that's fine. If it stops doing its thing, we'll look into it for other reasons. But welcome everybody to the first ever, whatever we're calling this, Gong Royale point one uh, or part one. But all of the winners from 2024 so far on the Gong Show are going to be each, we're going to give them each a full 20 minutes to check them out, picking up where we left off on our last Gong Show stream. And uh, you'll get to see, so you'll get to see a little bit more of the games. I don't think we're going to vote individually on every game because it's hard to judge with a more critical eye when you haven't seen who it's up against. And all of these are Gong Show ultimate winners so far. So, uh, after we play, there's going to be six games featured today. And let me tell you ahead of time what they are so you know what to expect. Today will be a runoff between a Highland song by Inkle Limited, Lil Guardsman from Hilltop Studios, Enshrouded from Keen Games, Corridan from Aftnereld, Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden from Don't Nod Entertainment, and Castle Doombad from Grumpy Face Studios. These are the six games that are going to go up against each other. And you'll have to vote for your favorite at the very end. Now, I hope that we don't get what we sometimes like to refer to as like, uh, someone gets the uh, most recent game priority where it's like people who've tuned into the stream in the second half are only voting for games in the second half because that's all they've seen. I don't quite know how to combat that. Um, so if anybody has any ideas on that, please feel free to let me know. Rob says, I only remember the last one. That's okay. Maybe they'll come back to you once we start playing them. So the first game that we're going to play today, oh, Chris says maybe we could carry the votes over. Uh, that I, Yeah, I don't know how that would work. That's interesting. We have it in the, we, we have that um, proximity bias, I think is what someone in chat called it, um, on the weekly episodes too. But the first game we are going to play was our Ultimate Gong Show winner on January 2nd, 2024. Developed and published by Inkle Limited. It is called... A Highland Song. And it launched December 5th on PC, Mac, and Nintendo Switch. The recency bias. There it is, Dante. Thank you. Um, maybe we could rate the games one through five while playing the game. Ooh, I like that. I like that idea. Okay, so we're going to calibrate this in just a second. But for those that don't remember this game... We play the game as Moira McKinnon. She's running away. It's a wild adventure through the Scottish Highlands with open platforming and dynamic storytelling, maps, and music. I think one of the things that really stuck out when we played this before was the music. That's what everybody was into. Uh, um, so here we go. Ro Panda, Praise thank you for the sub bomb today. Welcome. Here we go. I'm going to start the 20-minute timer. 
Oh, maybe it doesn't have our save file from before. We might have to start it over. That's okay if we do. Lucas, are you remembering the violin? Okay, we can continue from where we left off before. So I'm starting the 20 minute countdown now. Our modest fellowship expands. Eardle, thank you for the sub bomb as well. Y'all are amazing, appreciate it. So I know the sound design was something we really appreciated about all this. Peak climbed. Lovely old stones. Now we climb the peak, which means we can see farther. I think we initially came from here. Beautiful. Onward is escape. I've never learned the name of this peak. Is this the Queen's Throne? Woe's Wedding? Is this the Forest Crown? Let's say Queen's Throne. Seems a pretty lonely throne to me. The view. Let's learn about the Queen's Throne. I had this peak down as the Queen's Throne. I remember now. Hamish did send me something about... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Here it is. We have to talk. I mean it. Come alone this time. So you can see on the map how uh, the terrain is drawn. So we have to go to that part of the what? mountain. Looks serious, whatever it was. Maybe I can spot that far from here. Um, have returned. I think it's right. Look is Z or A. Look further. So I think we need to find... Um, I don't know. I don't know what looks like what we just saw. Oh yeah, I get to climb down. Could this be it, maybe? A thistle flower. It's perfect. Take the thistle flower. Hey, we got a new item. I'll put that in my pack, and not my pocket, maybe. I also just want to show everybody, in case you don't remember this from before, Wu-Tang Tea, thank you so much for the resub. Um... My front door key, my torch, a glass lens, a red reed boat, a stout stick, a seashell, a thistle flower. Those are our discoveries. Here's some maps we have. This is how we found where we're going so far is these hand-drawn maps. The peaks. And discoveries. I can't even believe I'm doing this. I must be off my trolley. Oh, oh. And an Uncle H's say so too? He's got no trolley and all. Where could the part of the mountain we were looking for on the map be? Oh, something here. Uncle H says every stone circle has an outcast. Looks like it's you, chump. Take the heelstone path. Uh-oh. I don't know if we want to take a path there. What's this? I'll take a stem. New item, a stem of yellow broom. To confirm a map of this location, open the journal. <sighs> Crawl into the cave, maybe here. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay. So in here is where they met? Yes! Which makes the peak up there, Kruna Bonnery, just like I thought it was. Okay, we're gonna crawl into the cave. According to the note, it should open up inside. I can do this. So there's certain parts of the movement too 
uh, that go hand in hand, where like you're moving to the music, which is why they want to calibrate the music ahead of time. The tunnel seems to stretch out in front and behind. It goes on forever, like a bloody poem. <laughs> Okay. Super dark in here. Huh, and there's a narrow crack here. Looks like it might lead into a tunnel. Enter the narrow opening. There's no way to know how long this tunnel will be. We're going. I know it's dangerous. My little brother taught me to climb. Kept getting himself stuck up a tree or on a roof. Not like my mom would get her fat arse up there to get him back. <laughs> I feel like I've been down here for weeks. That's better. I can see now. Take a breather in the cave mouth. Yeah, let's take a breather. Okay, we're resting a little bit. Bothy. These old cottages dot the hills and make good shelters. Look inside. This place smells like... Eesh, it's strong. There's a bottle here. An old bottle of whiskey. And it's still got whiskey in it. Nice. I could give this to Hamish. I bet he'd drink it. I could stop here for the night, but it's early afternoon. Okay, so I figured this one out. I've gotten all of the maps so far, except for whatever that path is. I don't know that I should crawl down there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Let's see what happens if we go the other direction. Oh, a small tin box. Take it. Is this a map inside? Adventure awaits those who explore the caves below Hogshead. Warning, spelunking is dangerous. Do not enter caves without a qualified guide and suitable equipment. Hmm. I've got hours of daylight yet. <laughs> Am I just running back to the mouth of the cave where I first came in? Come to the lighthouse. Castle wall behind my house is the outer wall. Let's go to the map. One time he sent me a rusty nail from the Titanic. He told me he'd got it from the bottom of the sea. I was seven years old, so like a total chump, I believed him. A knotted rope. It must be rotten through. I'd have to be mad to try it. Untie the rope, cut the rope with something, or climb down. What are we going to do? Um... Maybe untie the rope? The knot's as old and fast as Alan Wells. 
There's no way I could unpick it. Cut the rope with something. My glass lens. All right, we're gonna try climbing down. Here goes then. All right, we made it. A carving. Huh, there's something carved there. Nine. Roman numerals? Uncle H told me something about the Romans once. Running around these hills, getting lost. I cannot remember anything exactly, but there's a narrow opening. When do we get stuck? I don't know. Let's go in the narrow opening. Narrow crack just below the numeral. I could probably slide inside if I was totally mental. Slide inside. If I get stuck in here, I'll be so embarrassed. Um, I think you'd be more than embarrassed. Phew. An old cigar box. Take the old cigar box. There's something in it. Oh, the whiskey smugglers operating across Hogshead have multiple routes to avoid the tax collectors who patrolled the hills. One that has survived is a rocky scramble off the eastern flank of the mountain. What? A path right on the cliff edge somewhere and making progress. Like, yeah, this place might be one of my maps, for sure. A wooden post with a pulley and a rope on it. For rope and down? Yep, I will not be trying that. It wouldn't budge anyway. Rusted fast and tight. Scrape the rust away with something. Maybe the front door key? Okay. Pulley's moving now. Spin the pulley. It's roping up an actual rope ladder. That's nifty. I found a map of this path. Now I think about it. Yep, I see it. That peak up there must be Tog said then. Okay, we're gonna go down. Not enough light left for this path. I could try tomorrow. Go anyway. Oh when no. The dark falls over the hills. It's like a veil. You can't see your own hands or feet. You could be shrunk to the size of a mouse, or grown as large as a giant, and you wouldn't know. It's too dark, and I don't know where I am. <laughs> Torn plastic wallet. Take it. Looks like there's a page from a fold book folded inside. Okay, looks like a useful pass. Find some shelter. I know, I'm trying to find you shelter, girl. <laughs> oh, shelter in the cave now, yes. Sometimes replies would come immediately. Sometimes they'd take months to arrive. Dear Uncle H. Tell me more about the outer wall. Tell me more about Yellow Broom. Why do you want me to come visit now? Oh, Moira, I've wanted you to visit all your life. But I had to wait until you were old enough to make the trip. Your mom would never forgive me if you came to any harm. Four days until Beltane. By the morning, the storm has finally blown itself out. Oh, take a load off in the cave mouth, maybe? <sighs> Although she said I shouldn't waste daylight while I've got it, okay? Cross to the higher ridge? Alright. Alright. 
I'm just assuming I'm trying to climb higher, although I might just be like retreading territory I've already. These seen. lands have always been precious, always under attack from the south by the land and from the east from the sea. child's toy purse here. The helpful brownies of crofters that go were said to work all over the peak, using a network of tunnels to rush from one tidying up job to the next. Ferry Metro, one ticket what? fare. <sighs> Keep going a little longer. Take a load off beneath the trees. The thing you have to ken about Uncle Hamish is that he's a total idiot. <laughs> Not the annoying kind. He's the kind you talk to because you never know what he'll say next. But, you know, still an idiot. Okay. So now it looks like I should be able to cross here? No, I can't. I want to get up there to where that house is. <laughs> we're winded, so we're taking a quick break. Shouldn't you be in school? <sighs> You're English. No, no, I'm not. I know I sound like I'm English, but that's because I'm from Edinburgh. How old are you? What do you reckon? 15 or 22? What do you reckon? 13, maybe? I'd have said you were 16, but as my mother used to say, Girls make bad antiques. They always look older than they really are. Oh no! Homeschooled, am I right? I read the books in the house. It doesn't matter. What are you doing here? Bird watching. I've been sailing up and down the lock in a lovely little skiff. What have you found? Apart from you, you mean? This wonderful little ruined abbey on an island right in the middle of the lock. But quite inaccessible without a boat, I'm afraid. Wonderfully romantic. You live near here, I suppose? I'm going to the sea. To the sea? What, across those, those great big ones over there? Have you been that way before? Do you think I can make it? Honestly? No, I suppose people do. But they probably have a hat, at least. You present me with a puzzle, my dear. I can't rightly leave you up here like this, can I? What would the man upstairs say? Oh God, don't worry about me here. Just tell, just tell me the best way to the sea. I couldn't if I wanted to. I mean, the A82 is pretty good. Ask something. Um, do you know a path to the next ridge? Well, there used to be a path before they built the dam across the river. Where was it? Here, I've got an old flyer about it. I've had it in my pocket for years now, honestly. Yes, thank you. Uh, Hamish is always moaning about that dam. Uh, let's say goodbye for right now. Cross to the lower ridge. I don't know that I wanted to do 
do that. I need to get out of this storm. shelter there. Oh, a thermos flask. Pick up the thermos. And it's still warm. Open it up. Let's see what's in you. Eek! It's fingers. It's literally full of fingers. Tip them out. I mean... Oh. Hot dog sausages. What kind of loon puts hot dog sausages in a thermos flask? Come to the sea by <laughs> Beltane, he said. Something wonderful is coming. And I'm doing it. I'm coming. I must be mental. Shelter beneath the trees. I was hoping we could get to a part. Oh, jeez. I was hoping we could get to a part where you get to see the music and the movement working together because that's, in what, my opinion, one of the coolest parts of this game. So if you remember that from our prior, prior playthrough, keep that in mind. I am going to... It was hot dogs. It wasn't fingers. I'm going to do a poll for each game where we give it a rating. So rating a Highland song. You can rate it from one, two, three, four, or five. And I'll put five top score. So how many stars are you giving it, essentially? How many stars? I'll put us on a two-minute vote and start the poll right now. And this way, we'll give a certain number of stars to each game after we play each game to try to help with the recency bias issue. So a Highland song. Vote how many stars you would like to give a Highland song before we move on to our next game. So y'all can vote while I'm going to go ahead and change this over to the next game. Okay. The average probably should be the rating. We'll see how fast we can math it. <laughs> okay, so let's see what our votes are. Okay. Get your final votes in. We'll do some quick old math here. Okay. 10 threes plus 10 fours is 70, plus 3 fives is 85. Plus another three is 88. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we've got 88 divided by 24 equals 3.6. So a Highland song has a total rating right now of 3.6. There we go. All right, folks. So now we're going to move on with our second game of Gong Stravaganza 2024 Part 1, which is a game called Lil Guardsman. If you remember, Lil Guardsman, I'm going to reset our 20 minute timer. Go back to Lil Guardsman from Hilltop Studios and Versus Evil. 
This game just launched January 23rd on PC, Mac, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. And in this game, we are a 12-year-old who has to run the guard shed at the castle gate. A lot of people uh, had described this as the cuter version of Papers, Please. So we're going to go with our save file we had from before, continue game, and start our timer. We got to get a little further. I agree. I agree. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Briel and Darunia Athanatos. Tank Shade X, the easiest way to clean cosplay is uh, to spray it with vodka because that takes out any smell. Or gently wipe it down with a damp cloth. All right, so let's see here. We've got, um, I am Tyronius Athanatus, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatus. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Great. Will you require anything further? Yes, I'm supposed to call somebody if you're here for the magic thingamajinger. Let's see. Yes, the Mages Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort. Councilwoman Ash. We have to call Councilwoman Ash. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Admit the mage and my people will escort him to the venue. Okay. Admit the mage. The House of Thanatos, and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. Thanks. Okay, character store three stars. You read the writ and followed orders. Good little guardsman. Good afternoon, Red Banshee. Welcome. Good afternoon. I am here to pick up my two kids from the no good, stingy, low life of a father. Who I remember this one from last time. Low life of an ex husband, Orlando. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Okay. Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for once. Uh huh. So we should have in our tools the decoder ring. You take a closer look at the letter with the decoder ring. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. There's a hidden message written here. It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is nightmare. Does that make sense to you? Oh my God. My boys don't know how to spell. But also that thing about Kelly being the worst. <laughs> okay, so it seems like there are actually kids that wrote that. Um, anybody, anything else on here? Uh, six month undercover operation. A group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered trafficking illegal drugs. I don't think this lady is a drug mule. Person with funny name. Malcolm. What's this person's name? So that's <laughs> Kelly isn't as fun as she's made out to be. If anything, she's making my kids miserable. I've never been so happy in my life. Oh my God, I need to get my kids right now. Trust. What's your game plan? First, I'll make sure my boys are safe. Next, I'll s Kelly's so hard that it'll f up Orlando's. <laughs> okay. Uh, I trust her. I think we should admit her. Go get your kids, ma'am. 
Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Good luck. Oh, uh, it shouldn't say Sunday chill stream. Sorry, it must have switched back for some reason. But when I started the stream today, it definitely didn't say Sunday chill stream. Sorry, now let me take a moment and fix that. <laughs> Probably when I changed the name, it changed back over for some reason. There we go. It should be fixed now. Okay. Character store. We did it. Good use of the decoder ring. Nice. What in the bloody blazing blast? Oh, yeah. This guy's real mean. Guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip. Welp. I don't know if he's yes, a drug sir. mule, though. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. Your name's B.S.? Oh, I gotta call bank the guy. The oh, bank of the sprawl. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... I can use the x-ray to see what's inside the safe. Okay, it's money, not drugs. Whoa, that's a lot of cheddar. No, ma'am. It is gold. Silence! Yes, it is gold, but it is legitimate. Certainly not blood gold, if that's what you were thinking. Well, I wasn't before you said anything. I could confiscate the money. I don't think I should confiscate the money, even though he's sus. Everything seems to be in order, but I wonder what that stamp was on the gold bars. Aw, oh, no. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, I don't like him. Truth spray. At precisely 6.15 tonight, after the bank of the sprawl has closed for the day, I am being met by the head teller, Mr. Dung, who will be escorting me to my safety deposit box. Once inside, I have a rather sizable deposit of gold bullion being carried by my darling servant, Welp. I couldn't do any of this without him, but I will never let my secret love show for the sake of my position. What on earth? What? Oh, master! I knew you cared! What? Poppycock! Okay, now we got to admit him, I think. But do I have anything else in my bag? Can I give the cinnamon bun? Um, I guess we'll just let him through. He's not a bad guy, even though he's mean to his wealth. He's actually just going to deposit money. It's about bloody time. Get moving, whelp. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Silence. Nobody was talking to you. With all due respect, sir, but you were talking to me. Don't be impertinent. Onward! I revealed a pack full of gold bars and didn't help yourself. This game has been pretty clear that you're going to want sweet, sweet loot. Aw, oh, so I didn't get a full three stars because I didn't take the guy's money. Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am I speaking to? This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Okay, and where exactly is... She... 
I need to go to the dig site and just abandon my post? Why, hello there. I have come to the Sprawl to participate in capitalism. <laughs> After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. And what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the Sprawl? Huh, <laughs> I just got that. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. Garby that's Bunches. That's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's license, issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade. Oh, um, I think I might need that. I think I'm gonna... Okay, if you... I gotta call the guy who wanted the funny names. Malcolm is the depressed joker. Call Malcolm. Got a funny name for you. Garby Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. OMG, tell him I'm a huge fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. Okay. Um, I guess I could x-ray his briefcase. Oh, I can't. I can use a metal detector or a bullwhip. Let's try metal detectoring the briefcase. I was sure that I would detect some. Nothing. I sent all my belongings ahead of me with every. I don't really care about that. I don't really care whether or not you really care. Hmm. I'm gonna interrogate him then. I just can't wait to get in the mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place. Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, I've dreamed of maximizing profits and keeping overhead low. Uh, maybe doubt. Seems like a weird dream for a kid to have. You couldn't possibly understand, little girl, with your cushy government job. Wait, shouldn't you be in school or off playing or something? Don't ask. See, you get it. Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. I look forward to buying... Uh, something. Okay, he does seem pretty legit from what I can tell. Can you smell that? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. Not the reek of filth and decay. That's the reek of opportunity. Okay, bud. All right. Funny name, got it. Bells ring in the distance. Time to close up shop. All right, not too bad. I was paid 20 gold for my shift. I got a three star, a four star, a two star, a four star and a three star. That, okay, yeah, I'll take it. Shift complete. You thought he was sus, Rob? I am supposed to go to the dig site. Ammonia, hydrogen, iodine, all pretty basic stuff. Machines like this are a relatively new discovery in the sprawl. Will notices the words Commander Keen among the inscrutable technical jargon. The hole's so deep you can't see the bottom. They must have a really good ladder guy.
Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. In the box? No, you called me. I'm Lil, we spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do, for the sake of time. Ha! <laughs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. Trust me, you will. Who are you? Who are you again? Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological research at the Royal Academy. But you can call me B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? Short and sweet. It's a hole in the ground where we get power crystals from. That was short. Sweet. I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, mm -hmm. and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? And what I need to know from you is, do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Maybe. Push the button. I just, I, it was a red button. I'm a child. I just pushed the button. Wait, what? Where am I? What just happened? Did we rewind time? Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess Beatrix Von... Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guard. Yeah. What's going on? Don't you... Re she hung up. Okay, so I think it rewinds time. Why, hello there. Let me stop you there. Your name is Gravy Blanchers, right? You're a traveling... Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. Kind of. The name is Garby... This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I'm sorry. Our... That's what I'm trying to decide. Regardless, here's my vendor license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade for... Comp that's odd. I seem to have misplaced my vendor license. The board is not going to be happy about this, Garby. I need to get this guy processed and get my butt back to the dig site. I swear I've done this already. I remember... Can you smell that? I think then... You go... Okay, the smell of opportunity. Yep, we got it. Back to the I dig to site. Is she going to remember me now when I get here? Oh my, were you left behind? The I need you to listen to me. Something very strange is going on. My name is Lil, don't you remember me? Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do, for the sake of time. Huh. I already told you no. Oh, wait, I actually do. My name is Dr... Yep, we Logical know. Logical research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been through this before. I'd prefer if you called me B. Yeah, she did say B, not And this Trixie. is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? 
Magic mushrooms going crazy or time travel? Wait, why am I asking you questions? For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Wait, where did it go? Do you mean this? My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Can you blame me? Yes, but it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. That risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. Okay. At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Right people. And before I ask right people, I'm going to ask everybody for their votes again. Because now we are going to vote on Lil Guardsman. Final score, will it be one star? Two stars, three stars, four stars, or five stars. The more stars, the better. Get your votes in now. It's at the top of chat. Let's see what she means right by right people. Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the sprawl, rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. Isn't that subjective? Yes, well, I suppose it is, but recently the kingdom has seen a rise in rebellious factions, envious neighboring nations, not to mention the resentful mages guild since the power crystal has replaced most household magical applications. One wrong choice could trigger a domino effect that could lead to the fall of the sprawl. Why not use it yourself? So to recap, you're giving me, a 12-year-old who worked exactly one day at the castle gate, the power to rewind time? Why not just use it yourself? I have been testing the device myself for months. In fact, I used it to repeat a month's worth of the same day and learn to play the oboe. Can I show you? Uh, no, for the love of all that is holy, no, or oh god, no. Let's say, oh god, oh, no. well, perhaps another time. My calculations suggest that no changes I could make from my post at the Royal Academy would have nearly the impact on the sprawl that you gate guards do. Academia, am I right? <laughs> so I came to the conclusion that trying it out at the gate is a calculated risk worth taking. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly. And definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. You'd want that? Yes, lottery. Or yes, trip and fall. I have a feeling you're not using your science experiments to their <laughs> full potential. I'm a 12-year-old. Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Ah, I see. All right. So, votes we have so far. Let me tabulate our scores. We have got eight three stars, which is 24, plus 12 four stars, which is 48, plus 13 five stars, which is off the top of my head, what is that, 65? Divided by 25 plus eight is 33. Hold on. 4.15 stars. 4.15 stars. Eertle, you got it. For Little Guardsman. Congratulations, Little Guardsman. Looking good. All right, let me get things ready to go for our next title. Hold on, let me see if I can... Here we go. 
Getting out of this one and moving on to the next. It's tough competition today, but it's meant to be. It is meant to be tough competition. That's what, These are all the winners up against each other. All right, folks. The next game that we are featuring today is Enshrouded. Enshrouded, developed and published by Keen Games, just launched at the end of January on PC. In Enshrouded, we play as Flameborn. Here, let me switch this over. There we go. We play as Flameborn, the last ember of hope of a dying race. We have to survive the terror of a corrupting fog and reclaim the lost beauty of our kingdom. Venture into a vast world, vanquish punishing bosses, build grand halls, and forge your path in this co-op survival action RPG for up to 16 players. Tank says, oh yeah, that game. Colin says, that's the first I saw that game. Fun. Yes, uh, I agree. Little Guardsman is very cute. And fun. Let's see what people think of Enshrouded. It does say it's pre-processing right now. But it's going through it relatively quick, see like. I'm going to restart our 20-minute timer. And this was our ultimate gong show winner from January 30th. So we've got three gong winners from January, three gong winners from February to take a look at today. Tank says, I wasn't there for the first two games when they were on Gong. Nice. Well, this is good because then people are getting a chance to uh, check out some games they may not have seen before, which is super rad. But you did see this one. Yep. Lucas says, this is my first time seeing any of these games thus far. Huzzah. Let's do it. Um, I hope that it doesn't take me too long to remember all the survival mechanics in Enshrouded. I think I've built an awful house, and that's where we left off. Here we go. Nope, we're going to be fine. I'll update my GPU driver later. Private game. My world won. Games should be updated on the stream to Enshrouded. Out of date for shame. I know. I know. My fam family has gone to pick up the babe, which is great. The now seven-year-old babe. He's not really a babe anymore, but he'll always be a babe to me. Oh, MC says, this game's a good game. I got to max level in it. Really fun. You can make out a stream, a stream out of just the building. Windows 11 forced you to update. I have Windows 11 on my gaming PC. Um, and Windows 10 on my streaming PC. All right, well, it's taken a while. I'm wondering if, oh, there we go. We're in. Commune with the flame. Oh, I'm on my altar. I could upgrade the altar. I guess let's do that. Oh, I don't have a shroud core. Just kidding. Back, back. All right, here I am at the altar. So yeah, I built this really bad house. I guess it's all right. Yeah, I must have fixed it before I left. So it's it's actually not that bad. Oh, I broke my door? Y'all. I gotta remember how to build a stinking door again. Door. I'm gonna put that here. Rotate. Okay, 
Now I've got a door again. Don't delete it. Um, I could eat some mushrooms. Here, what's it say? Rested. Warmth, comfort level, sheltered, sitting, sleeping. I think it's because... Should I have built the fire in my house, maybe? Maybe I should have built my house around the flame. Okay, I could build... Oh, a glider would be nice. Beds, tables, fireplace. I guess I could make a chair. Okay, I made a crude wooden stool. Uh, I can't do any of this yet. Can I sit on it? Okay, I'm picking it up. A fireplace adds warmth inside. So I guess I should craft a fireplace now. Nope, crouch. H, crafting. Here we go. Construction hammer. Campfire. Okay. I made a campfire. Uh, here, what's on my journal? What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Let's read that. Claim a spot for your base. Find the sleeping survivor. Travel through the shroud is what I'm supposed to do next to find a sleeping survivor. Survivors of the shroud wait to be roused by your inner fire. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. Show on map. F. So I'm there. The Cinder Vault, home level one. I have to go northwest, it looks like. Set his waypoint. Great, I set a waypoint. Now also let me... Where is the campfire I just crafted? I don't know. I thought I did. Oh, it's out here. Craft and repair. Decor. Oh, a window might be nice. Oh, a fireplace would be nice, but I need stone for that. Okay, okay. Northwest. I'm going and we're going to pick up stone along the way. And in the meantime, I'm going to use this hatchet to attack anything. So there's some mushrooms there. Can I pick up any of this stone? Stone? Oh, just a bunny. I mean, I'll take the bunny meat. <laughs> He's mad I took his bunny! How dare you! I will eat you too, sir. I will take your bones. Rude. Rude. Are there more stones here for me to get? What's that? Oh no. Got it. Search. Oh. 
Shroud spores. All right, I'll take all that stuff. Take that mushroom. Is our sleeping friendo in here? Friendo is still sleeping. How am I doing on hunger and stuff? I'll eat some purple berries. Health regen is active. I think I need to go over this bridge. Oh no. I can't go over that bridge. Okay. I like the music. What is this? Captain's Journal, Day 20. We're hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and with it our connection to supplies, but it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The cinder vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkwright. Okay, I got another torch. Pretty cool. Anything in here? Some string. Some wood logs. Oh no. It's the only way forward in the shroud. That's me there. Where am I trying to go? Up here. So maybe instead of trying to go, I could either try to go across the bridge or go around this way maybe. Um, all right, if I go in the shroud, I will be enshrouded. I know I can only be in the shroud for so long, and I don't remember if the torch helps me or not. Stay on the path, lest the shroud's kin take you. Salvation lies ahead. And yeah, I can only do it. Okay, I'm starting over. Staying on the path. I have five minutes to get my booty out of here. Okay. Should I get that thing? Should I not get that thing? Restore time. Whoa, okay. I'm traveling through the shroud. Oh, I can always just teleport back to my flame altar unless I'm in the shroud. Stay on the path. I think I went the wrong way. This is the only way I can go. Hey, this is the way we're going, I guess. I'm still enshrouded. Can I climb this? I can. I'm no longer enshrouded. Although it does look like there's some bad guys up here on this castle. Maybe that's what they meant by the scavengers. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with him. He's not my business. What is this? Are these like little signposts? I don't know what they are. Oh, what did I run past? A firefly! Hmm. 
Bushes can conceal you. When you're within them, press C to crouch and hide. Oh, I see, because there's an enemy right here. Oh, I don't need to be sitting. I don't think I have anything that can hit from the ranged, though. What if I just sneaky, sneaky attack? He's too busy. He won't see me. I got backstab damage, at least. Oh, boy. Oh, wow! He got me real fast. All right, well, I'm back at home, and I lost all that stuff. Cool, cool. Now I gotta go all that way again. Let's look at our map. So I made it all the way up here before I died? I have to go back to my tombstone to get all my stuff. Find the sleeping survivor. Yes, I know. Why is it still blinking that there's some kind of notification? Crafting. There's new stuff I could craft. Oh, I could craft a shield. Or like a wand and a staff would be neat. But I need bones for that. Okay, so I should have crafted some stuff before I just kept going. Sigil ring of the elder guard I could equip. So maybe I only lost part of my stuff. Stone. Okay. I did put on a ring. Plus 8 to stamina, plus 10 to health. Nice. Nice. Is it not equipped? It should be equipped. Okay, yeah, it's equipped. Great. I guess I could make some stuff before I run out there. Do I have any more? I've got two points I can use. Lumberjack. Axes do more damage against wooden objects. Mason I could do. Merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E. To deal massive damage to an enemy, you've overpowered. Fill their stun bar. Hmm. The base duration for the rest above is increased by five minutes. Oh, that seems nice. Let's get that. Spirit increases your spirit attribute. Spirit attribute. Intelligence attribute. Battle mage. Constitution. Okay. All right. We've upped some things. I'm going to put this in my backpack. We don't need to carry that around. I also don't think we need to carry any of this building stuff around for the moment. I have a campfire. That's cool. I have an explosive powder ball. Let's just leave a mushroom here. Explosive powder ball in case I need it. Maybe my construction hammer should stay here. I did cook some meats. I could eat my cooked meats. And I'll put that there too. Because I don't want to like lose stuff if I should die. Okay. Going back to where we died. Getting some rocks. Getting some different kinds of stone. Okay, we got some flint stone. That's good. Ha ha ha, flint stone. See, now at this point, I should be able to... Oh, I needed the bones to make the wand. There was a dead rabbit up here, but I don't think it's going to be there again. But maybe I could get bones from... I don't think these dudes are going to come close enough to me. 
All right. Let's just see if there's anything else we can craft here. I have an axe. We're good there. Flame altar, workbench, supplies. I could make bandages if I get... I have string. And torn cloth. Okay. But I would need torn cloth to use that. Axe, campfire, pickaxe, torch. Shields. I need more wood logs for that. A club or a bow. More twigs, I could make that. Or I need bones for a wand and bones and resin for a staff. Okay, some more twigs. I didn't loot the rest of this camp. I probably should have. Oh, I could sleep here, though, if I needed to. Oh, there's some cloth. Okay, crafting. I could make the bow. I still need a little bit more. Okay, I can make bandages though. But then that's my only string. Oh, a new thing to read. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness, we've withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered the ri I'd ordered to rig the pass with our latest munitions. If the scavengers return, we are prepared. Wood logs. Ooh, wood arrows take. Now maybe I can make the bow. Let's see if I need more twigs. I got some more twigs. Okay. Crafting. A bow. Craft. Got it. Now let's equip that bow. I'll put that here. Okay, so I think it says Q. So block, hit, and Q is my bow. Metal scraps and wood logs. I'm getting stuff. More wood logs. I can probably make a shield soon. Oh, I could make a lock pick. What do I need for the shield? I need string. I can make more string. Now I can make a shield. Craft. Okay, let's equip that as well. Character. Shield. There it is. We now have a shield. We've got a bow. It's getting to be dark. It's a little bit cold. Maybe we should sleep first. I'm not very warm, but... Getting up. Okay, I heard the... The rooster, so here we go. Oh, more bandages. Let me also... I'm going to move the torch for now. 
Um, and all of our bandages. Are these bandages? No, that's torn cloth. Did I not pick up the bandages? I thought I did. There we go. Now I have them if I need to heal. Eating some meat for breakfast. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, there was some string there. Good. Here we go. Stay on the path. Oh, I can't get the time again. Maybe because I got it last time. I'm super excited about Rebirth as well. Our next stream on Wednesday will be uh, the Rebirth demo. And then on Thursday it releases and we'll be playing then. Now I have a bow and a shield, so hopefully that will help me get through this combat encounter before where I died. Oh, did something just die up here? Oh, there's wolves. Oh, so much for my... Now I, but now I've got his bones and his kill. So with the bones, I could make a club maybe can do more damage or a wand does 11 damage. This also does 11 damage. Holds a chance to amplify its damage output. Let's do it. So let's do... Is that my wand? Okay, I can't. There we go. Drink. Okay, everything's looking good on that front. Ooh, I like it. I like the wand a lot. Road is blocked. A grappling hook is required to pass. Oh, how did I get through before? I guess I went this way. coming for me. Outrun the bees. Outrun the bees. Did he see me? He's kind of looking right at me. Oh, farts. The bees gave me away. Oh, no. And here comes this dude. Okay, I'm just gonna ping and run. Yeah. 
Yeah! Alright. It's not the sneaky- <laughs> It's not the sneaky kill I'd hope to go for, but holy cow. Woo! Oh, and the bees again. Wait, what? Did my game- My game force closed. The bees got me and my game force closed. <laughs> Wand not very effective against bees, turns out. Folks, that was Enshrouded, developed and published by Keen Games. I'm going to start the poll so you can vote and give the number of stars to the rating you'd like to give that. Enshrouded score for today. Will it be one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, or five stars? For today's gong show, starting the poll right now. Give it however many stars you'd like. Those are some powerful bees. Yep, that game noped right out for us, sadly. Get your votes in, my friends, while I get things changed over for our next game. Okay. Bees are OP. Ah, also the bees format your hard drive. Sorry I didn't tell you earlier. You know, that would have been good to know. <laughs> ah, so funny. So, so funny. Get your votes in, everybody. Get your votes in. For Enshrouded. Go, 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 go. I'm going to take a little hydrate break. Mmm. All right. I see the votes coming in. I'm going to start mathing soon. Although, Irtle, you've been mathing quicker than me, which I appreciate. I appreciate it. So get your votes in for how many stars you'd like to give and shrouded today. All right, it looks like we've got one star plus four stars plus. 33 stars plus 4 times 9 is 36 stars plus 5 times 6 is 30 stars equals, and we'll divide that by 29. 3.58. 3.58 is the rating today for Enshrouded. 3.58 stars. All right, moving on to our next game of the showcase. Corridan. Now, Corridan was our ultimate gong show winner on February 6th of this year. Developed by Afnarel, published by Anshar Publishing. Available on PC with a uh, free demo going on right now. And it's an action RPG where you get to play as a monster shifter. If you remember, we're four children. We get to transform back and forth between our human form and our monster form. And uh, you can play this co-op, by the way, if you want to play as co-op all four kids. But I'm playing it uh, single player right now. So let's go ahead and set the 20 minute timer and recheck out Corridan. Local play. Continue. I know one of the things advertised in this game is that if one of your party members is in their animal form and you're in your human form, you can ride them as your mount in the game, which is kind of funny if you're playing online with other streamers and stuff like that or online with your friends. Brings new meaning to uh, the game title Mount Your Friends. Tang Shade X, you were getting Diablo vibes from it. Yeah, I think that's right. I think that's right. All right, we're loading, and then we'll be in soon, hopefully. Here we go.
And this was mom, and she sent us out to travel to the River Ridge Mines, which is where we were, but I guess this must be the last spot that it enabled us to save. So, let me just look and see what we have equipment-wise. We can, this character who I'm playing as can change into a panther. Right now we have the bow equipped. And I have two abilities. And if I change into, how do I change into my panther form? Is it E? Is it F? I don't remember. Tab? Uh... Okay, here we go. Got all that equipped. We're good on stuff. But yeah, I don't remember what we hit to become a panther. But I know we gotta go to the boats. Yeah, I gotta go over here to the boats. Uh, Tank Shade X, it did say local. That's what I chose. So I'm sure you could choose local or online. But I don't know if it's like Diablo where it like always needs to be online or not. Open the map. So we can set waypoints on the map. Quest objective is up there. But I guess if we need to figure out how to navigate it, up here and here we'll be getting lost. Unless I can climb that. Let's see if I can climb these. Because I think I went the wrong way last time. And let me just take a look at our controls. This is all fine. Oh, is that going to auto navigate me to our our waypoint maybe? That's interesting. Tutorial list. Let's see. Shape shifting is Q. Okay. Yep, okay, Q. Now we're our... Ranged attack creature. Charge and then fire. That's what I didn't do before. Oh, I have to transform back into my human form to open the chest. Whoa. An in inhaler? Oh, a nasal helmet. I was like, wait, did we just pick up an inhaler? Okay, let's look at our C for character, maybe. Here we go. That's our attributes. Do I want this helmet instead? Oh, level requirement not met. Okay, so I'm not level three yet. Interesting. But now when I'm here... Charge up, spit. Okay, in panther form, I took those out quickly. I can go up here. Oh, those things are all going to come chasing me, or maybe not. Maybe I'm not close enough. Find Ira's camp. I can only assume I'm going, like I'm following the magic sparkles. Does that mean I'm going the right way? It does mean I'm going the right way. Okay, so this is the waypoint I set. Ooh. Let's 
get those bugs out of the way. Okay, I picked up some health. And it looks like here's a chest to open. I just got money. I mean, money's nice and all, but... Alright, I need to keep going up here if I can. Mm. What is all this stuff? This way. Okay, can I go up? I can't change the camera angle. But it looks like I can go this way. Maybe? No. How do I get up here? Okay, it looks like maybe I can go this way. Great. Uh, well, now I fell way down. Now they want me to go a different way? No, I want to go... What if I remove this destination? Set destination there, and then I'm just going to follow where it tells me to go. Also, nope. Hold on, shift tab. I just wanted to panther and I hit the wrong button. on going. You guys want to mess? Okay, I like the panther form. I do more damage as a panther. Why can't we just all be animal friends, right? Like, why you gotta, uh-uh. These guys move too fast for me to do the, like, ranged poison spit attack. Can I get up there? How could I get up there for whatever that is? Like, can I climb it? I don't think I can. Nope. Doesn't look like I can shoot it either. Nope. Yep. Fire attack could easily burn these roots away. All right, I'm gonna panther on panther. Pick up enhanced smooth scale. I know I need health. Let's see if there's anything in my inventory that can help us there. Enhanced level two. Compare. Yeah, that's better. Equip. Okay. That will help a little. Do I have anything else that can help with healing? Mm. That's all equipped. I don't think I do. Just gonna need to find health. A fire attack. Who can do a fire attack? I don't think I have a fire attack. Maybe if I was traveling with one of my brothers? It 
Teleport to creature. As a human, you can ride beasts, both conjurers and other players. You can also teleport to a mount anytime if it's available. Teleporting just costs energy. Is this health, maybe? Yes. Oh, it's invisible. No, it's not. Not anymore. Okay, still going strong. Let's transform. I do I do my, I forget how I do my uh, little tail whippy. I think it's just when I click on something behind me, I'll tail whip. Ooh, what happened there? I got like electrocuted. Pick up a short bow, pick up electric spit. All right, do we want smooth scale one, smooth scale level two, houndra saber horn level two, uh, short bow versus what I have equipped. I don't know, that seems pretty on par with what I have equipped. I have poison spit right now, but I could do, oh, do I have two poison spits? Electric spit. I don't know, let's try that. Let's try some electric spit up in here. All right. Cave entrance, is this it? I think we're there. I'm supposed to be in here. Mm, it's a deep, dark cave. Exit the cave. Ninja, you didn't miss much. Welcome back, my friend. Could that be the camp, maybe? Yeah! Must be the camp, but where is she? I'm not trying to be intrusive. I'm just doing my best to aid you. This place is too dirty and messy. Nothing like the lab. The lab? Yes, the lab I operated in. A clean, quiet lab with muted colors and bright white lights. Nothing like all the noise, chaos, and filth out here. Why do you care so much about that? You're just inside the gauntlets anyway. To be clear, I cannot care. I was only trying to point out that this is not a suitable workshop. I don't want to go against your mother's wishes. However, I've already informed you the gauntlets can only be properly repaired at the lab where they were created. We don't know where that is. What else do you suggest we do? If I can connect to a computer with access to some sort of database, then I'm positive I can find it. We could ask Ira about that as well if we find her. Quest updated. Find Ira. All right. Well, can we loot Ira's stuff? Ooh, a war hammer. Looks like there's some health here. Let's eat some of that. Nom, nom, nom. We've got a quick travel point. Oh, could be activated with an electrical attack. Okay, well, good thing I have one.
No? Aha! Now I can fast travel back to the lab if I need to. Footprints! They lead south of here! Alright, let's again look at our stuff now because... Poison spit. We're using the electrical spit right now. Warhammer level 5. I don't think I'm high enough level to use that, but I'm probably high enough level to use this now. Yes. But am I level 5? I don't think I am. No, that's why it's red. But I will use that as soon as I can, baby! Let's look at our map. Find Ira, it says. Let me just see if we save at the safe camp. Yeah, checkpoint saved, it says. Okay, great. Look at my new fancy helmet. More footprints leading towards the cave up ahead. Tank, you're correct. It does look a little bit more like a big lizard than a panther. Ooh, don't like that. Get it. Alright, I am going to change into our big lizard form or panther form or whatever we want to call it. What is this? Oh. Transform into human form to open. Ooh, some leather armor. hey -oh. oh, but that's level four. I still can't use it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, Ira, we're looking for you. Are you here? Aunt Ira? Huh? What are you doing here? Never mind. Right now, I would appreciate some help. Ooh, that tail attack is so good. Where are you going? I'm stunned. That was amazing. Your dad is going to regret not selling those gauntlets on the wreck market. They must be worth a fortune. You know about them? I was scavenging with Najee when he found them, but let's talk more at my camp. Uh-oh. Boss battle! Oh, that was not good. Oh no! <laughs> well, I got defeated right away. Good thing we just had a checkpoint. But folks, that was our 20 minute playthrough today of Corridan, the ultimate gong show winner from February 6th, 2024. I'm going to set up our stars voting. Corridan rating for today. Will it be one star, two stars, three stars, four stars? And five stars. Poll is starting right now in at the top of chat. Get it. Yeah, I got owned really fast there for sure. Faux show. And by the way, there is a free demo of that one if anyone wants to play it on Steam. Voting is going to be really hard today. That's why we're judging each game individually. And then we'll compare the scores at the end. Now, if we have to have a runoff between two that get the same score, we absolutely will. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, getting the next one ready to go for us. I mean, this is the semifinals, so it's not technically the semifinals, but the first, it'll be the first of like approximately five or six semifinals throughout the year. And then we'll have like the finals at the end of the year for game of the year. The face says, is a no vote better than a one? What do you mean a no? Oh, is not voting at all better than a one? I don't know. That's a good question. Leave it up to you. I'll leave that up to you. But yeah, no vote doesn't count for anything. It's not factored in. Okay. Got it all ready to go. We'll do some quick math. Quick math. Here we go. Get your votes in, folks. Okay. So we've got 13 three-star ratings. So 39 plus 7 times 4 is 28 plus uh, 8 plus Five equals 80 divided by 25. That's a 3.2. We've got a 3.2 score for Corridan. Folks, if you want to double check my math, please feel free to do that because I'm doing this quickly. But that's what I got. That's what I got. So that was uh, 13 three-star ratings, seven four-star ratings, four two-star ratings, and five, one five-star rating. 3.2 is right. Okay, great. All right, moving on to our next game of the Gong Stravaganza. Banishers, Ghost of New Eden was our ultimate gong show winner on February 13th. This is developed by Don't Nod and published by Focus and just came out February 13th. It is rated M, by the way, friends. We're going to continue where we left off. And this is a supernatural. We are tasked with banishing dead folks. And we showed up in this area where our priest friend was like, come, we need help here. And then we got here. And they're like, he did. So sorry. Uh, we're all going to die if we stay here. So what do you want to do? And we're like, oh, all right. Well, that's a lot of information. But yeah, we're essentially ghost hunters, and it's an action RPG. Why are games never rated I for immature? That's a great question. Okay, starting our 20-minute timer. So yeah, we just got all that info dump in here. And I think meet Esther Davenport at her house is what we need to do next. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. They already sent all the children away to try to save them, so the town has no children. Come in. Creep factor times a million, for sure. I barely slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? 
Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I think this is the widow so of our friend sorry who died. I didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Aww. Is there anything we should know? How were things before or about Governor Haskell? Um. How were things before? How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, He's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Very dark. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Esther. We'll take a look around. If that's all right. May I, I mean, nice help? pad they've got, though. Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. New Scotch tune. Okay, you've unlocked Just your first help. hint. It contains Could important information about the person it's linked these to. Like you can refer to these hints at any given moment through your haunting cases menu. It cost a fortune. To understand why a ghost lingers in the if incarnate, you, you must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Place. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitant's intent is disclosed and you may complete your investigation. So let's look at haunting cases. We've got Esther and Charles so far. Investigate the study and investigate the bedroom to understand why Charles lingers. Letter from Eleanor. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It was always a pleasure to hear from you, and I know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I've contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you've experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an icker, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of your observations. 
Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stoll has so little presence in the New World. Any new information shall be precious indeed. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Hmm, maybe Charles is hanging around because he doesn't like somebody else this? seeing his wifey. The governor had a room prepared. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. Nothing. Here, what's this? A study of H. Purcell's uh, Chacony in G minor for strings. Sadness in interval. Okay, so it's a lot of... A lot of music stuff, so it seems. What's in this room? There's more to learn here. Oh, there's more to learn here. Okay. I guess I could talk to her again. Bundle of letters from Charles. My beloved Esther, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate. A sweet of which I can, one I cannot tire. At last we shall be together, and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are too old, and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until that blessed moment when I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. Oh, he just loves her. I can't tell you how much I long to get home. The work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting, but I miss the sweetness of our home. The few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge, and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments, that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this. When I see the pride in your eyes, then I know what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know that I can do anything. Oh, they're so in love. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Do we have anything else to ask her about? We don't. Okay, I was hoping maybe... We'll keep looking around, if that's all right. I'll be here if you need me. Um, did we read all this? I feel so sorry for bringing you into this tortured land. Maybe he feels guilty that Esther's here. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his air loss. A precious king from a chess set protected by a glass dome. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Okay, we've got a map. I didn't see anything on that. Oh, here's something. Scribbled Bible verses. When I say, my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions. 
so that my soul chooseth strangling and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing? Is someone behind this? Who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perdure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Okay, so we've successfully investigated the study. That's what we know so far about Charles. So now we have to investigate the bedroom. This is the bedroom. Where do nightmares come from? Silver brooch. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Here we go. My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial. The shame of it. How I failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Mm-hmm. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Ah, we have to go investigate the cemetery next. Uh, a doctor's note. What else do we have here? More Bible verses, a children's psalm. Okay, we got to go to the cemetery. Is it out back? Maybe that's what the door out back was. Okay. Esther, I've got to go to the cemetery. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. And then we'll be back. I promise. Where's your front door, though? Over here? Nope, not that away. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. I mean, we couldn't be like, we're gonna banish his soul. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. It's very Be rainy careful. where we are in Aye. New Eden. You too. Final location. Open your map. That's where I have to go. Investigate the cemetery. So I could go, it looks like I could go back through the outside of the house, but I guess I'm gonna make a right and then another right, go past the shop and to the cemetery.
You want to chat? I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. You got it. Oh, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to push you. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Okay. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course. I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. About the curse, do you have bad dreams? You're leaving town or show me your words. Do you have bad dreams? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> That's kind of you. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir. And to do it, I need detail. If you please. A banisher must have charms. Uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. Oh, uh, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. I investigate hauntings, and when I know why the ghost is here and where it hides, I banish it. I do not sell trinkets. If, what about those rings you wear? Get out of here! Them. They are mine. They only have power if the wearer has training. Show me your wares. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed. But I never refuse a deal. Okay. Leather, fur, linen thread, wool. Nah, I'm good. I don't want any of this. You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive by sea? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves ashore. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Okay, we're going to tell him goodbye. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Okay, and our 20 minutes is up, although we have yet to see any combat today. We saw it last time. So I'm going to start the poll to get your votes. It'll be at the top of chat. So give a little refresh if you don't see it at the top of chat. And you can give your rating to Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden. Whether it will be one star, two star, oh, yes. three star. So close to town. The cemetery is closed by order of the governor. Not for us. Can I get through? Here we go. Follow oh, that whisk. Yeah. 
more of you? you? Call this a fight? Here we go. Just a little bit of combat. Press C to block at the last moment to parry. Now we haven't. There we go. Got a got a nice little parry there. No S to use a coin. Okay, let's see what we got. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Some spectral dust. Picked up a little bit of a plant here. Looks like you can go through here. Hi, Xander! How are you? Good to see you, friend. Can I not go through here? Maybe that's what I need to do. No. Can I jump or anything? Find the place where Charles died. I'm doing well. I have to be able to cross that. What is my map? Yeah, I have to be able to cross that, but maybe... Maybe I can't get through there. That would be so silly. Is there another way around? I don't know, but that's all right. We'll save it where we are now. And while everyone, oh, everyone got their votes in for banishers. Let me go ahead and do some quick math, see what our final tabulation is. Zero one stars. Well, here, we'll start with five. Uh, 25 plus 4 by 7 is 28 plus 12 plus 2 equals 67 divided by, what do we got? What do we got? Hold on, it just went away on me. Divided by 17, it looks like. Which gives us a 3.94. Yes, Eardle, 3.94. You and I got the same thing. Thank you for double checking my math. 3.94 stars. We've got one more left. One more game left. Oh, I see the hydrate and the stretch reminders. And sorry that the alerts don't seem to be making noise for me. I don't know if they are for you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, strike gave a hydrate and a stretch. Mm-hmm. There's our hydrate. Shaking it out. Give a good stretch. Woo! All right. Mm. Okay, you're he you're hearing the alerts as long as y'all are hearing them. Um, all right, we've got one more today. And this was the Gong Show winner from February 20th. So this is probably the one that's most fresh in everyone's memory at this point. And it is Castle Doom Bad. Castle Doom Bad is developed and published by Grumpy Face Studios, launching soon on PC and Mac and Switch. We get to play the villain and we have to destroy the pesky heroes, if you remember this one. Oh, thank you, Luvalin. Yes, I did forget that from the tutorial because it's been probably a month since I last played Banishers. So thank you for that reminder. I appreciate that. So Castle Doom Bad. We'll do a 20 minutes of gameplay and then you get to vote and give it your star rating and then we'll see who's our highest star rating of the day. All right, I guess I have to do this level. Select stage. All I can do is 
Uh. Hmm, it said to use my controller, but now my controller's not doing anything. So, not D-pad. This is the only thing that's doing something, and all I can do is spin around. So let's try. I'm gonna force close and start the game again. Controller recommended. Got it. Controller plugged in. Going to re-plug in the controller. Yeah, for whatever reason, the controller is wigging out. Like, nothing is controlling the game right now. Nothing works. I'm gonna try one more time. Nope, it's wired, so it's not that it's not charged. It's totally wired and plugged right into the PC. Maybe it's just got a case of the Mondays. You think maybe close and reopen Steam? Yeah, now it's not even giving us. Let's see. Yeah, this is where we were stuck before and nothing works. All right, well, it looks like we won't be able to show off Castle Doom Bad unless maybe restarting Steam is the issue. Setting save file is broken, maybe? I don't know. I'm going to start Steam and then try to verify the integrity of the files and see if that does anything. Let's see if that helps. But in the meantime, I can go over while this is doing its thing. It says everything's successfully validated. Um, here's what we've got so far. A Highland Song with a 3.6 star rating. Little Guardsman with a 4.15 star rating. Enshrouded with a 3.58 star rating. Corridan with a 3.2 star rating. Banishers Ghosts of New Eden with a 3.94. And if we can get to Castle Doom Bad, let's see if it works. We'll see if it works for us or if not. But if it doesn't, so far, the highest rated game of the day is Lil Guardsman with a 4.15 star rating. That's what has the best star rating so far. And now it says Castle Doom Bad Demo is trying to launch, but it's not launching. Otherwise, play with the keyboard and controller disconnected. I know, even though it said it recommends controller. I think it might be a no-go, y'all.
Oh, you finally got your 300,000 Dragon Scales rating today. Nice. I mean, the last thing I can try is a Control-Alt-Believe on the gaming PC. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it works. But now it won't even launch the game. Now Steam won't even launch the game, so... <laughs> We're going to do a little control alt believe and see what happens. But we did just play it successfully on 6 days ago. So like I said, we're just doing a little refreshy. See if we can get it going. Yeah, maybe it's just something silly. Oh, great. Cool. This is the perfect time to flash bios. She says with intense sarcasm. <laughs> it's my favorite. Maybe there was an update that tanked it. I don't know. TJ1673, thank you for the resub. 102 months is amazing. And you said, as an IT admin, I approve of the off and on method. But I hope you're doing well. Yes, the off and on method does fix many things. It's true. Beardle, why are you asking about on Adele? I don't understand the joke. Mm -mm. Do I have any glasses cleaner up here? I don't think I do. Oh, it's experience. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my system firmware is being updated on my Alienware. I honestly don't shut down this PC very often, so that's why it's like, your graphics card is out of date. You have a firmware update. Like, as soon as I restarted, it's like, time to do all the things. And I'm like, nope, I was restarting because I wanted you to hurry up and get back into Windows so that we could run a thing pretty fast. But that's fine. That's fine. I still do have a little bit more time. So even though it's taking its sweet arse time right now. You went to get some food. What happened? What happened was uh, the last game that I wanted to play um, wouldn't, like there was no controller that it would take, no control inputs it would take. Um, and so I decided to do a quick control all believe on my PC. And my PC was like, no quick for you, ma'am. Flashing BIOS. Ha ha! So my PC is just having a thing. Tifa cosplay preview. It would take me too long to change into it. It's a very complicated outfit. So no preview of that today. Uh, but there will be. I finished it this morning. Get yeah, updates are always bad. Windows ME for life. No way. Dante says BIOS. Why did it flash BIOS? Because it says the system firmware is being updated. So it's doing that now to update firmware. <laughs> BIOS update and Windows updates are a thing now. Yep. Maybe three reboots later. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Tonight, now is a great time for a bio break anyway. I've been holding it in the whole stream. So I'm going to put up a BRB. Everybody get something to eat, get a drink, bio break, do what you need to do, and I will be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. The PC is up and running again, and I'm trying to launch Castle Doom Bad one last time. Let's keep our fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Yeah, power outages are the scary part about BIOS updates, for sure. 
Sometimes you can leave performance on the table with an old. It's looking like it's not launching. Sorry, Castle Doombad. I mean, I could try uninstalling it, but I already did verify the integrity of the files. I could try uninstalling it and reinstalling it from Steam, but I think it's done, y'all. I think it said no. I think it was like, definitely not. Better to have 97% performance than 0% uh, PC. Uh, app data folder. Tank Shade X, you're telling me to go into the app data folder for that specific game or in general? Sorry, I don't often mess with the registries of my game files. specific game. So if I go into browse local files for Castle Doombad, there's a data. Yeah, I'm not seeing that file that you're talking about and I'm not about to live go through all my stuff. <laughs> um, I did verify the integrity through Steam and didn't find it. So the only other thing I can think is uninstalling and reinstalling and seeing if that does anything. Steam Verify said it verified everything correctly. It said everything looked good. Someone is broadcasting this game in full Castle Doom play cosplay right now on Steam, y'all. Wild. All right, one last shot. Here it goes. Here it goes. Is a gong show winner about to get the gong? It's not getting the gong. It's just, it, it's out of the running for game of the year is what it is. It is the demo, yeah. It's the demo of Castle Doombad. And it's just not launching. It says it's launching. If I go into Task Manager right now, does it look like it's launched? Nope. Yeah, it's just not launching, sadly. Womp womp. Well, Castle Doombad was supposed to be featured today, but it's just not launching. R.I.P. So uh, what that means is you said replay a few minutes of the original playthrough. We could try that. Oh, well, F's in chat, indeed. Mm -mm. And of course, because I'm live, it's harder for me to find my old videos. Come on. Kind of like a different 2D version of Orcs Must Die. It's like a tower defense game. Um, let me see. Here we go. Castle Doombad. This is what it looked like before. local play if you and your partner in crime uh, want to choose different traps and tools. So this is what it looks like. You have to place traps uh -oh. to stop the heroes from coming in and saving the princess.
So you can see how I'm like placing different traps over to try to get these things. Get them twice. Hopefully. If they don't move fast enough. Kind of like a platforming boss monster. Yeah, a little bit. Definitely giving me boss monster vibes. What better use of a bra of bratty aristocracy? Wahaha. Our stream bank is Okay, starting a st starting a star rating for this one right now. I know it's not really fair cuz we didn't get to see more of the game and the whole idea is that we'd see more of the game, but Let me see if I can turn up the volume here for y'all. Nope, it's the size it'll go. Oh. Oh, it is finally launching. It took that long to launch. Hold up. Is it actually going to work? Okay, hold on. I'm going to tab out and stop this. It took that long to launch. <laughs> but the controller isn't letting me choose the menu. Yep, and I still can't move around. So it launched, but my controller's not doing anything. Unplug the controller. Controller's unplugged. No other controls. Nothing is working. Nope. No, okay, now I'm gonna try it. Okay, at least it launched this time. I'm gonna try it with no controller plugged in. Yep, screw you and your controller recommended. Just ignore the controller recommended and we'll be fine, folks. <laughs> All right, so. Not many people, I know uh, we're gonna redo the vote. Finally, must be the controller settings, Lord only knows. But let's just play one round of it and then I'll do another vote. Uh, let's equip Doomkins. The screen generator I need for energy. I did really like the tentacles. And that one. And this is nice and cheap. Okay, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> I gotta, okay. Where do I put it? So now I can do a screen generator up here. One of those there. Heroes coming from that way. I put one there. That's gonna go there. I'm gonna put another Doomkins up here. Oh, and a tentacle right here. Let's do another Doomkins up here. Just run around. The Royal was released! I failed the level, y'all.
Oh, I guess I have to get her out of there safely. He's mad. My boss is mad. Okay, we've got her trapped again. Put that there. And here, I can clean up right up here. And then put another scream machine in here. I really like the tentacles. Let's do more tentacles here. So I think it's the people coming in this way that are getting the farthest. More tentacles there. And where else can I put tentacles? Here, I guess. We got them all done, but unreleased would have given me extra. We could do, this thing only shoots in one direction, so it's a little tricky, but I also didn't use the stomper because it's manual and I have to activate it. Doomkins, scream machine, tentacles, Oh, I can go with more than I had last time. Okay. <laughs> Put that in there. And also I'm gonna clean this up. Because then I can do... I'll do another one as soon as it's ready. My eyes are up here. Evil Stein, you unsightly fiend, release our darling princess love bug at once. Today marks the end of your vile villainy, you villainous uh, villain. Unsightly. It appears you leave me no choice. I'm coming up there and I warn you, scoundrel, with all those stairs, I will be getting sweaty. You, Minion, let's squash this romance novel reject. There. Also putting that there. I see people coming up here. So I want to put one of these right there. And... Oh, 
princess? How did he get all the way up to the princess already? Tentacles, what are you doing? You're supposed to get the people on top. Tentacles! <laughs> what is happening? I failed the level, but at least we got a chance to see Castle Doom bad again. So I am going to restart that poll. Okay. Castle Doom bad star rating. Just note if you play the demo, don't use a controller. <laughs> Even though it says to use a controller. <laughs> All right. One star, two stars, three stars. Four stars and five stars. But you know what this is going to force me to do? It's going to force me to uh, update my graphics card driver. That's what it's going to do. All right, so get those votes in for realsies this time. Okay. Get those votes in for realsies. While I go ahead and update update my GPU drivers. <laughs> there we go. But uh, in case you missed it and you're just tuning in right now, the games that we've covered so far on today's Gong Stravaganza have all been Ultimate Gong Show winners. And they included a Highland Song from Inca Limited, which had a 3.6 star rating overall. Little Guardsman from Hilltop Studios and Versus Evil, which had a 4.15 star rating. The top winner thus far. Enshrouded from Keen Games, which had a 3.58 star rating. Corridan from Afnereld, which had a 3.2 star rating. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden, with a 3.94 star rating. And Castle Doombad, whose rating we will see in just a moment. Okay. Apparently, there was just a new GPU driver released four days ago, and that's the one I don't have. Game Rebel says, been lurking. Hi, though. Hi, Game Rebel. How are you? Welcome, welcome. All right, we will tabulate those votes. Mm-hmm. It does look like we have. Almost done. Okay. So 25 from the five star ratings. We've got six times four is 36 from the four star ratings. Uh, or no, six times four is 24. Trisha can math today. Plus, uh, 15 three-star ratings, that's 45, plus 6 for the two-star ratings, plus 1 for the one-star rating. And then that divided by 30 equals, of course it just, 3.67 says TJ1673. My calculator just deleted, so I'm going to trust you that that is correct. 3. 0.67. Not enough to win, but very, very good. So let me just quickly do our first, second, and third for the day. Eardle says 3.37. All right, hold on. Let me do it again since we have two different maths. Starting over since my computer or since my calculator is a big dum-dum. 
45 stars for the three stars. Six and four is 24 plus. Five and five is 25 plus. Uh, two and three is six plus one. That's 101 divided by 30 is 3.36. That is 3.36. Okay. Ah, it was a typo. Got it, got it. Yes. 3.36. So that gives us the number one winner of the day is Lil Guardsman. Congratulations to Lil Guardsman. You will go into the Game of the Year gong show at the end of the year. Huzzah. Then we've got, it looks like, next up is Banisher's Ghosts of New Eden with a 3.94 rating. So here we go first. Second is Banisher's, followed by, oh, a Highland song. Got third. And then Enshrouded got fourth. Followed by Castle Doombad in sixth, or excuse me, fifth, and Corridan in sixth. So that's our official ranking for our first ever Gong Stravaganza. There it is. Rob says, Enshrouded finished fourth? What the what? Hey, I'm not the one that voted, y'all. Lil Guardsman won, followed by Banishers. Followed by a Highland song, followed by Enshrouded. Y'all are the ones that make the calls. It is the Dragon Riders Indie Game Showcase every week. So thank you all so much for tuning in today. Tomorrow, I have a special thing that I'm filming that I'm not allowed to talk about. So there will be no gong show tomorrow, which is why the gong show was on Monday this week. Um, but then on Wednesday, my plan is to play the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo in its entirety. Now, I do believe a lot of it is the part I have played already in my press previews, but I do want to get the extra things for having played the demo. So whatever I have to do to do that. Um, and then, if for some reason on Wednesday I find myself with early access to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, then we'll just play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I do not know if that's a thing that's going to happen. But demo on Wednesday and then Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on launch day, which is Thursday. If there are Twitch drops I can enable, I will definitely en enable them. Dante says, will the demo carry over? I know you, I don't know if it fully carries over, if the progress carries over, because I don't think it's like the beginning of the game. I think it's different parts from different parts of the game. Um, but I know you do get like special collectibles and stuff like that if you play the demo ahead of time. So, um, or else I will just play the section twice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But the chapter one, the official chapter one that I played... At my press preview, I from what I hear, is not in the demo. Um, so we might get part of chapter one or something like that. But anywho, I'll look it all up and I will see you on Wednesday. All right. Bye, friends.